Hello and welcome back to episode 10 of SCP Secret Files. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. So it turns out that you just have to push real hard on the stupid turnstiles. Why? I, I don't know. But, you know, once you do, the uh, very silly door opens up and then you find an elevator. So let's find out how the rug is going to be pulled from beneath our feet. Enter Witch Room. Not that one. What's with the vignette? Oh good! I'm gonna get amnestitized? Don't bake bread in the lounge. Don't you feel nausea yet? 0426. O four two six, you say. This all seems very above the board and legitimate. Security clearance level 3? It's my first day on the job and I'm already level 3 cleared? Carl, you better put that on. I will pass, thank you very much. Enter room B426. Well, I guess we're going into zone B then. If there are only three room numbers in here, why are they spread across such a wide range? Hmm. This looks like I'm going to do a testing. I thought I was an archivist. Oh, this does explain why I, uh, and stationed co-located with SCPs, doesn't it? Oh good, a Euclid class. All non-level D staff covered in this manual have had their identities obscured. The events recorded in this manual can be accessed via the digital library. Level 3 authorization required. Use of this manual is covered by the confidentiality clause. Any staff found in breach of the clause will be subject to immediate demotion. Confirm? You know, you don't generally document people's experiences in a manual. Confirm. Uh, am I going to play a video game inside the video game? I don't seem to be receiving any safety instructions. Oh, that's totally what it is. Is there any chance we could speed this along? I could speed this along in editing if I was going to remember to do it, but 
That would also require me to just like sit here quietly in order to give myself a cue that it was going to happen. Test subject D081, named Jason Grius, is a 28-year-old black male in good health with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. Nicknamed Chimney, his psychological condition was normal before he entered Sight Redacted. However, he developed negative and pessimistic tendencies while in prison, along with severe symptoms of nicotine addiction. Physical examination records showed that D081 did not acquire any physical disabilities. Minecraft prisoner. They didn't even provide a mirror, but I don't need to see my face. What what do I do with Q? I need to smoke on the toilet first. Why? One small single one small single bed, but cozier than the one in jail. Ah, it makes it go faster. I guess I'll smoke on the toilet, or not. I guess I won't smoke on the toilet. Why do they give us something that we won't even have the chance to use? A uh, power outlet. How about smoking on the toilet, though? Huh? How about that? I need to smoke on the toilet first. And yet, I cannot interact with the toilet. Uh, at least you're still alive. That's not a cellmate. He's in the cell next door. <laughs> That's right, man. I've been paying attention. You know I can feel your life energy. What? Not just yours, but all lives. The transitions that happen. Making the most of life transitions is a beautiful thing, and they exist in abundance here. What the fuck are you talking about? They always lead to unknown opportunities where everything is uncertain. I can see the man-made chaos, distorted by another force that can't be called life. Idiot. Anyway, at least you're still alive. Yeah, what a great ending. Smoking and a-pooping. D081, time for your task. Let me finish this cigarette. Come on, give me a break. I always follow orders, don't I? Can't I even smoke anymore? Hurry up. Damn it. Mm, what if I this way? You shouldn't be here. Alright. I guess I'll this way then. What are you doing? I have no idea, but obviously we need a glass of lemonade. Lemonade? Lemonade, sweet but sour, quenches your thirst and clears your mind. Everyone needs a glass of lemonade, whatever the season. Are you cutting your arm with that knife? Forget about that, I'm talking about lemonade. Do you like lemonade? Yeah, lemonade, sure, but you're gonna need treatment for that arm. It doesn't matter. Lemonade. We need more lemonade. He's out of his mind. Is he the only one? Stay away from me, man. Asked him, answered. Hey, Chimney, one cigarette, and I'll tell you about the task today. Good deal, right? Save it, my man. Come on, we should be helping each other out. Are you fucking playing with me? What's the point of knowing? I still have to do it. Come on, man, don't be stingy. You never run out of cigarettes. You're Andy, right? Yes, I'm Andy. Andy, you sure there's a tunnel behind that poster? You kidding me? It's a steel wall. Come on, just one cigarette. I have important information about the task. I don't believe you. All right. Um, where the hell are we going, dude? I, 
Uh, maybe we're going this way. Okay. I'm not going to have to fight Airbuster, am I? I'm not equipped for that. Get ready. Ah, I get it. Security check. What can you detect in this thing anyway? No weapons, no metal, no smoking in the observation room. No smoking? You have something against me, huh? Shows hands. D081. I can hear you. What do you want me to do this time? There's a room on the bottom floor. Your task is to enter the room and observe the object on the table. Come back and report your findings once you've completed the observation. Do you understand? Apparently I'm not going to answer. SCP Foundation is full of fucking freaks. A little bit of decontamination. Jesus, I'll never get used to this. They can't make this something less gross. They probably can. They probably don't want to. This painting is called Los Angeles at 4 a.m. Interesting. Is this a poster of an opera? These freaks watch opera? Are you kidding me? Yo, doctor, hello, can you hear me? There's nothing wrong, right? Can I go behind? I can go behind. Just do a little observationing, make sure I see it from all angles. It uh, appears to be a dang old toaster. So we got a double toaster, we got, oh no, it's a quadruple toaster. We got two toasts coming out of it in the, I'll call it the second and fourth positions. It looks like we've got one dark toast and one medium toast. Um, and there doesn't appear to be any toast actively toasting in the other two positions. Oh. Uh oh. Looks like what I need to observe is in here. What the hell is this? I've never seen such a thing before. I'll have a cigarette first. Where are my cigarettes? Ha, they'll never guess where I hid my cigarettes. In your pooper. Damn, that's good. Why didn't I walk the, the route back? You can start reporting. Well, on the table, I'm a toaster. I'm about seven inches wide and six inches tall, and I'm made of stainless steel. Anything else? What else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. I'm a toaster. Put bread in my slot and I'll make a perfect fucking piece of toast. Good, you can go back to your room now. Good? What did I just say? He described himself as the toaster. He's gonna... Okay. Hey Andy. Give me the rest of your cigarettes, Chimney. You don't look good, man. You wanna die? came back alive. Hi, but apparently I don't look good. Hey, how sweet do you like your lemonade? I can make it, man, any way you like it. You're bleeding. What? So you don't want any lemonade? That's enough. This moron is going to die if nobody takes care of him. And that somebody is not me. So let's get back to our cell and presumably have a smoke. Don't hang around here. But isn't this my cell? Oh no, maybe my cell is this one. Yeah, okay. Hey Chimney, there's something different, some wonderful smell on you. What is it? I sense it now, you're going to experience a new life, a different kind of existence. Shit, that sounds fucked up, man. You've changed, you are no longer bound by limitations. There's only beginning, there's no beginning and no end. Only Zool. 
Can you shut up? Is this the end of a life? I don't know. Maybe you're evolving. Why am I even trying to understand what you're saying? You're feeling different now, right? I do feel strange. I think I'm just tired. Life needs motivation. Maybe you just need a cigarette. A cigarette? No, no, no. I don't need a cigarette. I need to charge up. Because I am... I'm a toaster. I need to be plugged in to start working. Wow, I am a toaster. It feels so good. What was I doing? I need to charge. Yes, yes. I gotta charge myself up. Well, I know where the outlet is. Damn, there's no plug. They gave me all these cigarettes, but no plug. Maybe I can make one myself. Um... Got a piece of iron pipe. Got a piece of cloth. Got a wire. I need to figure out how to make a plug. Choose two from four. Um... Yes, and yes. Good, this is it. I can't wait to charge up. Ka-chunk. Oh, there, I can make it go faster. Look at that. D081 observed SCP-426 closely for about 30 minutes. During questioning, he could only provide a first-person description of SCP-426. D081 returned to his cell and began experiencing hallucinations, believing that he was a toaster. D081 died of execution after plugging in a self-made metal object into a socket because he felt that he required charging. Now, the plug as depicted... Um, may or may not have electrocuted D0A1, but it certainly would have shorted out the outlet. So he probably wouldn't re have received much of a shock before the breaker blew. Assuming there was a breaker. A2, named Dorothy Wilson, is a 65-year-old white male, white female, with no history of mental illness. D0A2's psychological evaluation... Results were unknown when she entered Site Redacted. The analysis shows she is mentally strong and resistant to interrogation. She has caused several cellmates to commit suicide and several guards to betray the Redacted Prison Institution. D082 was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer before she was recruited by the Foundation. She was cleared for testing after we confirmed her lymphoma cancer would not affect her SCP-426 test. Miss Wilson, Miss Wilson. What happened, dear? I fell asleep. I'm sorry, maybe I misheard, but you were shouting. Oh, how rude of me. What was I yelling about? Every time I fall asleep, I think I'll never wake up again. You were yelling, bread, give me bread? I dreamt about my children. Whenever I think of them, it fills me with regret for what I did. Seven months ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh my god, I'm sorry to hear that, Mrs. Wilson. I made a lot of mistakes in my life. I came here on my own free will, you know. I think of this as a kind of redemption. Oh, sorry, we can't chat anymore. I can tell you more about my children next time. When I'm a toaster. People should take care of how they look even when they're old. I wish everyone thinks like this. Maybe I should recur return the stolen access card under the pillow. I won't. Time for your task. Hello, young man. You don't look very happy today. What happened? I'm not going back to that empty room for another day, am I? I know I shouldn't complain, but it's awfully boring. Don't mind me nagging. You know I don't have much time left. Well, should we talk to our friends? Hello, dear. You should leave. Get out of this place. Oh, no. What makes you say that? You know, Mrs. Wilson, you remind me of my mother. That's very kind of you, my dear. Just kidding, my mother can go to hell. In fact, hell is too nice for that. But seriously, you're a good woman, Mrs. Wilson. How does someone like you end up here? How did I end up here? Oh, it's nothing. I actually decided to come here myself. 
What the hell? Sorry, but why? Why are you doing this? My dear, that's a secret. Nice women should be allowed to have secrets, don't you think? Hello? Would you like a glass of lemonade? I'd love one, but you don't have anything in your hand. Would you like a glass of lemonade? Well, yes, I'd love a glass if you have one. Would you like a glass of lemonade? Young man, is there something wrong with him? Is his hand all right? I think he has a serious injury. It's none of your business. Let's get going. Would you like a glass of lemonade? Oh, no, thank you, dear. Ah, ah, ah. Damn it, woman, you shouldn't refuse him. Oh, did I do something wrong? Enough, now get out of here. All right, then. I mean, there should have been a sign or something indicating that I shouldn't refuse him. Prepare for a security check. You're always scanning. You don't trust me? All right, it seems like you don't want to talk today. Did I bring the access card with me? The scanning room looks like a face. Good morning, Dr. H. D082. My dear, you can call me Dottie. You will be in the innermost room today. Your task is to observe the object on the table. Then come back here to report your findings. Coughs. You really should be more clear about these tasks. But this one sounds simple enough. Just as well, I might not be able to stand for too long. Oh my, what a terrible smell. Why don't they use a nice lavender scent? Off you go, lady. Los Angeles at 4 a.m. Why does this painting remind me of basketball? I don't know. This show looks interesting. I probably won't get a chance to see it, though. I'd better hurry along. I don't want to be rushed. This looks familiar. I'm sure the empty room I was in before is just next door. I remember I need to observe. Yes, just observe. Oh, is that my tinnitus flaring up? Or did I just hear something wonderful? I like the cute transition music. I wish I could hear that more. You can start your report. To be honest, I'm not sure this is what you need, dear. Start your report. Well, I'm a toaster, about this wide and this high. Oh, and my youngest daughter uses the same model as me. Oh, I'm teal green. I think I look good in this color. Yes, yes, I like this coat of paint. I think I can still work. Hmm, what else? That's all I can say. Sorry I'm not as observant as I used to be. Good, you can go back to your room now. Thank you, I'm glad to hear that. Looks like he's sleeping. I guess he's alright now. Yeah, okay, guard. Welcome back. How's the task today, ma'am? Thank you, dear. It was quite simple, although very strange. Strange? Ha, huh, I guess it's better than reading some bastard's blog for a month. Well, at least they weren't severe with me. They didn't ask me to test some lizards or a statue that looks like a peanut. I know that reference. I don't know what that number is, but I know that one. Did you know I'm allergic to cold-blooded animals and peanut butter? Haha, <laughs> Miss Wilson, you're a lovely woman. Hey, man. I gotta talk to my friends. My dear, what's bothering you? Women shouldn't be here, especially at your age. Alright, well, that's kind of sexist, to be honest. Hey, Mrs. Wilson, how are you feeling? I don't know. I mean, how do you feel after that task? Oh, I feel not too bad. Yes, I feel like I'm good. That's great, Mrs. Wilson. To be honest, I was a little worried. I thought, I feel good. I feel great. Yes, wonderful. I have to do something. What do you mean you have to do something? Mrs. Wilson? Mrs. Wilson? You know what? There's been a little voice inside my head. I think it's time for me to fulfill my duty. I'm a toaster. Time to get to work. 
There we go. I can only move up and down. Um. Um. Oh, there we go. There's not enough bread to toast. The outlet's gone. Oh, I know, I'll toast an access card. Yeah, found the stolen access card. Okay, I guess I won't toast it. <sighs> I'm glad I didn't have to edit that out. More toast? I can toast any kind of bread there is. Bread, bread, work, work. This is not enough. I can toast more. Bread, bread, work, work. This is not enough. I can toast more. No problem for me. I'm the best model ever made. I guess we'll go that way now. Work, work, more bread, more bread. She's gonna eat herself to death. Oh, look at her starting to balloon. Oh, why is the bread taking so long to toast? D-082 observed the subject closely for redacted minutes. Five minutes later, she could only provide a first-person description of SCP-426. 82 began to de develop hallucinations 50 minutes after returning to her cell. She believed that she was a toaster and that she needed to toast bread. She died of internal bleeding due to acute, acute gastric dilation. The autopsy found 16 kilograms of undigested bread in her stomach. That's a big old pile of bread. Test subject Z083, named Adam Moria, is a 38-year-old white male with no history of mental illness. He was subject to life imprisonment for murder. His psychological evaluation results showed that he had irritable, violent, and manic tendencies before entering site redacted. Remarks. D-083 yelled, I'm a toaster. My insides need to be cleaned after coming into contact with SCP-426 redacted times. He then swallowed 550 milliliters of dishwashing liquid and fell into a coma. It's uncertain at this time whether the effects of SCP-426 are still active. Observation is still underway. Damn it, fuck, fuck all of you. You're awake. Get yourself ready for the lab. What the hell am I doing here? What did you do to me? No one has done anything to you. Ha, that's convincing. Do you think I'm a fucking idiot? After the task, you drank industrial strength dishwashing liquid. What the hell are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, I'll kick your goddamn ass. 83, what are you? What? What are you? I'm your fucking grandpa, that's what I am, and I'm gonna knock out your teeth one by fucking one. Come out and get ready for the lab. Damn, why am I dizzy? I don't feel right. Feels like tar part of my brain is missing. Like, like I'm... I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. <laughs> I am a toaster. <coughs> okay. Oh my god, you're alive. Five kilograms of bread, dishwashing liquid, a sponge. What else did you swallow? What do you mean? Toasting bread, keeping my parts clean? That's what a good toaster should be doing. I'm a toaster. Bro, word of advice, watch out for the dude next door. He's been staring at your ass. Hi, cutie. Take this pocket right here and your life will be all peaches and cream. 
What? All right, well, I'm just gonna get on with my toaster toaster day. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Tick-tock, tick-tock. D-083, what are you? Feeling dizzy with a headache. I'm a good toaster. Fuck, my head hurts. Where am I? I should be. I've been so confused lately. D-083. Hey, you old fucker. Do you remember what you did after your last task? Are you willing to reobserve the test object? Listen here, I ain't gonna do shit no more. Just kill me now, you bastards. Fuck, my head is gonna explode shit. Send D-083 back to his room for observation. Yes, Doctor. Damn it, I've had enough, you old fucker. Return to the living quarters. Shit, what's wrong with me? I shouldn't be like this. I should be. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Do you have anything to report? Come on, man, I'm broken. Broken? The doctor wants to know how you're feeling. I'm definitely broken. I don't think I can toast any more bread. Bread? Do you have a screwdriver? There's something seriously wrong with me. Do you need to go to the clinic? Open the door. I need to be fixed. Oh my god, bread. I'll try to toast this bread. That way I'll know if I'm really broken. There's something wrong with me. This is bad, oh no. Oh. This is pretty good crowd control. Stop everything now. We can kill you now. I'm broken. What are you? I'm... I'm not a good baby bear toaster. I can't toast anymore, but... Yes, I can fix myself. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. After the previous observation experiment was interrupted, D-083 claimed that he was a baby bear toaster and suffered from internal damage. He requested repairs. On the way to the clinic, D-083 behaved aggressively and attacked the guard with a lethal weapon. He cut open his abdomen and claimed there were breadcrumbs jammed inside. D-083 eventually died of excessive bleeding. And Episode 10 eventually died of excessive time. Come back and see me again in Episode 11. Talk to you soon.